You have to turn your Bibles to Daniel chapter 5, beginning at verse number 1. We're going to read down to verse number 12. I thank all those coming out tonight, all those tuning into the broadcast. Daniel chapter number 5, verse number 1. Belshazzar, king, made a great feast to a thousand years old. So he made a great feast of food, uh, 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 a wide variety of different things in this great feast. It was great because of what it had and the amount of people that it included. Come on and read. And drink wine before the thousands. So he had thousands of his lords. So therefore denoting his influence, he was a powerful man. You know, you may take somebody out to eat and you say, I got the bill. It's like, wow, you're a tremendous individual. But this brother took a thousand people out to eat and he said, I got the bill. So we see that his influence was quite vast. And he was a man of resources. Come on and read. Belshazzar, whilst he takes the wine, commanded to bring the golden, the golden and silver vessel, which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princess, his wives, and his concubines might drink therein. Be careful when you drink. Be careful what you drink. Be careful if you tune into the broadcast. If you decide to drink something that you shouldn't be drinking, be watchful. A lot of stuff happens when you're drinking something you shouldn't be drinking. Here, this individual, see, that's why the Bible said be sober. You'd be shocked how many people see drinking and smoking weed and, and, and getting, getting, getting. In the world, they call it, and it's really ironic, they call it, I gotta get my mind right. You're getting your mind wrong. You gotta get your mind right. Oh no. You make decisions that you wouldn't normally make. You'll involve yourself in something that you wouldn't normally involve yourself in. But here, he got toasted, he began to drink, and he said, bring the vessels that my father, Nebuchadnezzar, had taken out of the temple of Jerusalem, the one true God that, that, that was set apart, that shouldn't have been used for this. Bring those and bring them to me. He bring them. Amen. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God, which was at Jerusalem. And the king and his princes, his wives, and his concubines drank in them. The consecrated vessels from the house of God. Come on and read. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver, of brass, of iron, of wood, of and of stone. Hold on. They drank wine from the vessels of the house of God and praise the God of gold. My Lord. Well, you going to go that far. Okay. Good. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand. My God. My Lord. And wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. Come on. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Then the king's palace was changed. See, you go too far, the writing to be on the wall will move. You want to go too far, the, a hand appear from somewhere and just start writing on the wall. You ever heard that phrase, the writing on the wall? That's where they got it from. You know what that phrase means, right? That phrase basically means that at this moment, it's over. Yeah. It's as if you already received the judgment that's coming your way. The writing's on the wall, bro. Here he went this far. And before he actually got the judgment that was coming, it's coming. We're going to keep reading. Be some stuff you don't do. Yeah, some, yeah, stuff, right. some places you don't cross. Right, right. Some stuff you don't involve yourself in. Yeah. You ain't have to mess with the house of God. Be careful messing with the things of the house of God. Yeah. Come on, come Be on. careful doing with things, messing with things with the saints of God. Yeah. Be careful doing with things with godly parents. Yes, yes, Be, yes. Be careful. Don't, don't say certain things. Close your mouth. Do whatever you gotta do. But here, he's gonna sin for 
knew what he was doing. Send me the vessel from the one true God, the God of Israel. Send me this stuff from the sanctuary that was inside the temple, the tabernacle. Maybe even in the Holy of Holies. Send me this stuff. You gonna send for that? Oh, simple. Drunk from it. And then he began to praise. Hold on. Is it bad enough that you grew up in truth that you want to go down to Babylon? My Lord. It's now you're going to rejoice in that? You know better than what you're doing? Oh my. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lord. <laughs> Y'all don't realize it, but God's pen has been out for a while now. Oh, God. You, you, you know what? I'm not talking to some atheists out there that don't know what they're doing. That's right. I reveal truth to yes. you. You know what you're doing. You know better than what you're doing. You ain't have to do that. You ain't have to say that. You ain't have to open your mouth like that. I remember growing up, I seen times in which uh, you, you may be dealing with your parents, right? And they may say, I don't want you to go over such and such house. You crying. You get upset. You go back to your room. No, no, because you'll never let me do that. Okay, that's bad enough. But I've seen some walk right up to them. I'm sick and tired of you. Tell them you ain't going to tell them. It don't matter no more. Oh. Oh. Whoa, you snuck out. That was bad enough. Come on. Come on. But now you're going to come? And you're going to, you know better than what you're doing. Keep on. My Lord, my Lord. Go ahead. Do what you want to. You preach this gospel. And now you declare. Are you serious? I'm not playing. And see, sometimes we get up under this false sympathy spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. You know what you're doing. That's I ain't right. talking to nobody that's ignorant. They ain't never known. You know exactly what you're doing. Yeah. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. You know what you're doing. So here, the writing was on the wall. That's the message in and of itself. We are trying to get to the message. That's the message in and of itself. That's the message. Don't, don't let the right. Don't let God get his pen out on you. Don't, don't let God get his pen out. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. I ain't, I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm leaving that. I ain't going there. I, I'm sorry. I ain't involved myself. Uh, I ain't, uh, no, no, no. See, you got to understand. God is the same. If God did with folk like this back then, and he did with us differently, the Bible says he's the same. Yes, we like to use that when we're talking about he can open up the Red Sea. He will still pour judgment. The way he's always poured judgment. They ain't playing with people are selling their souls. Messing around with the one true God. You want to read then the king's conscience was changed. Come on. And his thoughts troubled him. Come on. So that the joints of his loins were loosened. Isn't that something? You know when you go too far. You know right before you go on too far, and you know after. Right. You can sense something different. Because there's, there's a Holy Ghost restraint that you got to go over. There's something trying to stop you from going there. Don't go there. You may be about even to say something. It, 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 it. I remember when I was younger. I, and this was for me. Now, God deals with people individually. I remember I wasn't saying, and here I was coming to the church to an event, and I was with some of my friends. Well, with us, grew up in the church, was these girls. And it was like a funeral, and it was bad enough just even coming to church with this type of audience. Come on, come on. But I was actually going to walk up. The devil said, walk up in front of the casket, in front of the church. Go view the body with your crew. It wasn't to see the body. He was trying to get me to demonstrate to the saints and the young people that I had it going on. Whatever they try to teach you ain't what to do. I'm the one you need to follow. I got it going. I'm the man. Don't you know who I am? Watch when I walk up here. Something from heaven. Something from heaven itself forbade me. I just couldn't think. I couldn't go. I forgot. I planned on I said, I'm just going to walk on up. And I've seen people. Backsliders. Going to come back among the saints. Got a wife and children. Going to come back around the with some girl. Yeah. Okay, 
can just do whatever you want to do. Here you are going backslide. Two days later, come around the same with your little tight pants on, walking, yeah, your little stuff in your yeah, uh -huh. God. And you have these sisters sitting there just endeavoring to do all they can to the stay saved. Amen. And you come with your little boyfriend. Amen. Oh, look at my little boy. Oh, look at your. Amen. You serious? Is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to show off to these sisters that fighting the devil? Say I'm stay right. I'm gonna get myself through. I'm gonna fight God. Man. You don't play, mess around and play with me. Go to a park somewhere to play games. Yes. You don't play around the church of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Play no joke. Let me go ahead. So here, Daniel. Belteshazzar went too far. He said, send me. You're going to ask for him. You can just drink out of it. You grab a cup. No. Send me the vessels. From the house of God. We're about to get drunk up in here. We're going to party with the articles of the tabernacle. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're going to party. Could you imagine? Could you imagine that? Could you imagine some saint children putting a rock in the door somewhere and mess around? We get a report. Yeah, they had a, uh, a party over on the other side. <laughs> what choice is this the church of God, will folk is saved that? So and so was bound by crack cocaine. Cain put on for prayer. God delivered him. So and so was bound by all these spirits. Demons cast out. People, so and so was sick, not into death. The saints praying and rallied. God, the, 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 the house of God, you going to do that? I've seen that. I, 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 I may not be old with some people, but I'm old. I've seen enough. I've seen some folk come up in the church, take stuff. Oh, are you going? To, oh, are you sick? Almost every one. I've seen folk rise up in godly pants. I don't care. It don't even matter. With me. I, I've seen it. I, 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 I've seen it. You ain't got to go that far. That was for somebody or something. Maybe somebody tuned into the rock Keep going. Let's get to the word. When the king's conscience was changed, the king's conscience was changed. It caused trouble. It's, he was deeply troubled. Read. So that the joints of the bones were loose, and his knees smoked one of his mouth. My conviction. Come on, read. The king cried aloud to be to bring in the astrologers. My mind. The Chaldeans. My lord. And the soothsayers. My mind. And the king spake and said to the wise men of Babylon, I, Whosoever shall read this writing, and show me the interpretation thereof. And tell me what's on this wall. <laughs> Please tell me. What's on this wall? T tell me. I see it's on there, but what's on the wall? What's that saying? Skip down to verse number 10. Now the queen, by reason of the words of the king and his lords. Now mind you, none of those men could understand. They came for whatever reason. They couldn't perceive or understand what was going on. Come on read Came into the banquet house, uh -huh. and the queen spake and said, "Yes, O king, live forever. My mind, let not thy thoughts trouble thee. Come on, nor let thy countenance be changed. Yes, there is a man in thy kingdom, in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. My God. In the days of thy father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, was found in him. Whom the king Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, the king, I say, thy father." Made master of his magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers. Three. For as much as an excellent spirit in knowledge and understanding, interpreting of <coughs> dreams, and showing of hard sentences, and dissolving of thoughts were found in the same day. Separate two. Holy Ghost and Move. Saints, there is a spirit that is being unleashed today. We've never seen anything like it in the ministry. There was a time in which somebody would backslide and they'd just be backslid. You pray for them and want them to come back and get saved. There was a time in which children would grow up in the church of God and for whatever reason, because the bright lights of the world would be so strong that they would say, I don't want to be saved. I'm going to the world. Saints, what we're dealing with today is different. The enemy is endeavoring to push individuals 
to get God to write on the wall. We're changing the message. Title, God is writing on the wall. My God. Oh, oh my. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. I'm saying with everything within me, may the Holy Ghost help us. We've never experienced what to guard. We never had to guard people from going too far. Those were isolated situations. But there's a spirit unleashed today in which it's becoming normal for people to blaspheme. Yes. It's becoming normal. I was talking to a saint recently, and uh, uh, we are expressing some of this to them. We couldn't go too deep because we try to protect people's reputations and the other. And you just be careful. She said, Brother Lee, you don't understand. The enemy just, saint, the enemy just tried to get you to do that. I know the truth. I know how it's written. I know the word of God. I know the stand. I know that. I know I can explain it to you. But the enemy has been trying to get me to denounce the way I was raised. To say it, 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 that's wrong. It, it, no, it ain't right. It was man. It wasn't right. It wasn't right. It was, and God showed you. So it was man that healed that cancer in Sister Nice. It was man. That delivered and stopped that bleeding when the placenta previa was before the and sister Jean died, bled out, raised her back, spared her child. It was man that called Sister Credit when she had an annual, I mean, uh, a ruptured. a ruptured appendix, where the doctor said, "You're leaving here and you're gonna die. Get your will out." Told her children, "Write a will." But the saints came. God opened up, the brother had to leave the room, and God raised her up. It was man that caused Sister, uh, 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 who had the uh, 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 aneurysm, Sister Marvel. Aneurysm, if you have an aneurysm at the hospital, <laughs> bleed inside your brain, but God raised up. Sitting right here among you now, you see it right now. I can keep going gangrene in the leg. Children struggling back here, wasting away. No, nothing, not eating for days. I mean, this, that, and the other. Sister with cancer. Oh, oh, it was man. You seen that that was man? You seen that? You seen it? I'm not talking something somebody told you about, something you read about in a book. You seen it. You've seen the power of God manifested on a consistent basis, delivering people from sin and sickness. That's what Jesus came back for. In the garden, in the garden, man fell two ways. What? My God, they fell into sin. Their nature was changed to sinfulness, and sickness came. So the second Adam came, Jesus Christ, the second Adam, he came to undo what the devil did the first time. That's why he told the, uh, the serpent, you, gonna, you got me now. But the seed of a woman, Mary, hey man, going to bruise your head, but you're going to bruise his heel. What? He's going to pay you back for everything you did. So he came with power to deliver souls from sin and to heal their bodies in the name of Jesus. And you have seen it. Not some you read somewhere else. This truth wasn't preached everywhere, but you were blessed to be among the people that preached the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And God backed it up with signs and wonders. My God. Nothing you have to worry about. Nothing, no vain theology. The Bible said Jesus began to teach and to do. And that's what the saints of God did. here did. Began to teach and to do. Yeah. God bagging it up. And they've not changed one bit from what they used to be. Do you get what I'm saying? Individual came to me and had to come at him one day. This is this and the other. I said, okay, I can see if they just came with 50 different editions. They preaching the same gospel they did in the 90s. And the so when was it so off? Come on, come on. I can see if they just said, okay, now we're going to add 95 more things and we found 25 more scriptures and we're going to add them. This is the same gospel. Yeah. It's no different. So why is it so different? How is it so off in man now? And let me take it a step further. The gospel that's preached here, the six seal brother declared the same gospel. You attributing too much to a person. Yes. He was just a vessel. Brother. That same gospel he was preaching 
was declared by other vehicles and vessels of God. So was a man too. Now you're going to blaspheme for real. Oh, my Lord, my God. This ain't wasn't going one person on the island. He wasn't preaching something that just he was preaching. He was preaching that which other people were preaching around the country. And other people was preaching decades before he ever came on the scene. Yeah, my God. Nothing at it. Justification. Sanctification. Right, brother. Unity of God's people. Oh, my God. Division is wrong. God didn't come to set up denomination, this, that, and the other. That's division. Yes. Just be a Christian, amen. amen. Come on now. Just be a my God, a part of the church of God, amen. Not a denomination, but just God's church. He named it in the book of Acts. He named it in John. He named it, my God, his own self. Jesus even said, Father, keep them thy own name. Amen. It's your church, amen. So here, you see this. You know it. It was declared to you. But yet, you want to allow it? Because you got bitter at somebody? Then listen, deal with them. Don't mess with the gospel. See, the, the devil is exposing Amen. himself. Amen. He's trying to get, it ain't about a person. Don't get confused. Your issue ain't with a person. The devil's trying to get you to get upset with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Right. Because yes. therefore now, see, if you mess with a, a person, perhaps the pen may not be there. But when the devil can push you to mess with the gospel that the person declared, if it happens to be the gospel of God, Oh, let's happily you find yourself fighting against God. Go ahead. Oh, God. They knew. He knew what to ask for. He didn't say bring me a cup. He said bring me the vessels of the house of God. My God. Bring me the vessel from the children of that they had inside the tabernacle. Although, you know better than what you're doing, bro. You know better than what you're doing. Don't listen. Don't allow the enemy to cause God to start writing on your wall. Oh, One day you're going to want to be saved. Yes. One day you're going to want to be delivered. You may not want to be saved now. Just say, I don't want to be saved. Pray for me, brother. Right. That's what the right. things you say back in the day. Yeah. Say children and backsliders, they were so respectful. Yeah. You would see them and say, listen, I'm not saved. Pray for me, brother. They have to pray for me. Just yeah. pray for me. Say, saints, don't forget to pray for me. Saints, pray for me. They would even come to a meeting humbly. Yes. To see the saints better than everyone else see. Brother so-and-so, pray for me, man. Pray for me. But now, you want to be bold. And they, they being so bold now, that back in the day, you, bold was when you would, sometimes you would harbor stuff inside. Good Lord. But some people, the enemy will cause to get you to declare. They're now declaring to the word of God. Boom. Yeah. Somebody screenshot. Oh, I erased it. Well, that's, that's there. They sent it to 10 people before you erased it. Now it's over yep. well. Mm. And what you just said is causing other people to say, mm. yes. 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 All against God. Yes. Here he is, we're living in a time of a famine where real truth is few and far between. Yes. Right. Right. And you would allow the devil to cause you to diminish the very few places in which truth, full truth can even be shared? You going that far? Wow. You, want, you, 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 you sure you want to do this? And nobody has to do it. He didn't have to do that. Listen, if he wanted to get drunk, he could have just got drunk with a cup. He was already getting drunk before. Just read verse 1 real quick. Amen. <laughs> Belshazzar, <laughs> the king, made a great feast yes. for the fathers of the Lord. Uh -huh. And drank wine before Stop the house. Stop acting, he was already drinking. Right. Right. You already in seat. Go to the club. <laughs> you see how far people are going. Don't make excuses for foolishness, saints. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. I'm not saying you. Okay, you better me because I ain't saying I'm not saying He could have just drunk. He was already drinking. Why are you going to go that far? See, the devil wants you. He wants you. He want God to write on your wall. Once God write on your wall, he wants the next person. God, you're done. You're done. You're done. I keep reading this. I'll show you. That brother dropped. Soon as Daniel got done with his property. Handwriting was on the wall. That's what that came. Handwriting on the wall, bro. Oh. Handwriting on the wall for him. They used to say that sometimes you get into it with certain mafia people, certain this, that, and the other. You mess with the mafia's wife, you do this, that, and the other. You did what to who? Bro, handwriting on the wall. Oh my. But then next week or two, I think it's from a bridge somewhere down in Mexico. What happened? Man, you went in there. You're going to be that far. You did not have to do that. You're already, just enjoy your fun. You're going to come up. I'm on the saints knowing you ain't right. I said, let me get a few of those church girls. Are you serious? It's, it's, it's church, it's, it's, it's girls all over the world. Yes, right. Yes. Go to the camp, go to the camp, go to the park. But you want to come up in here playing games? 
Yeah, let me get some of these church, church girls. Are you serious? The church of God? There ain't no place to play with. Amen. You want to be saved? You want to be sincere? Please. We're going to rally. We're going to stay up all night. Praise God. We're going to be right there with you. But you're going to come. Try to preach it. God, when you after this, that, and the other, the handwriting. On the wall. My God. Reverse number two. Reverse number two. God. Belshazzar. Come on. While he tasted the wine, come on. Commanded to bring the golden and silver vessel, which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem. Okay, you read verse number one at the end. It's the, the last line in verse number one. Read. And drank wine before the thousand. Stop right there. He had already been intoxicated. Saints, people, the devil was able to push him to make it intoxicated. Oh, Holy Ghost, preach. Somebody do them wrong. Something happened to them. They allow it to go too far. They become intoxicated with that thing. Something happens. Maybe somebody overlooked them. Maybe they felt they, they weren't done right. And they, that's why the old saints, when they're giving you counsel, you try to get counsel to them, they say, listen, don't let them go too far. Don't let them go too far. You were thinking, well, they, 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 they don't understand. They did me wrong and they're not acknowledging that. They did, they're not talking about, they understand you was done wrong, but they're concerned about you. Don't, don't, don't let it go too far. Don't let that thing go too deep with you. Don't let that. They become intoxicated with something that happened. Mm -hmm. And it may take a month. It may take a year. It may take five years. Bitterness set in. That stuff is brewing. Altar call come. Message come on bitterness. Message and they sit right there. No one is in there. No one is something there. No one is something. Sometimes they get intoxicated with the spirit. Just I gotta have this. Gotta have that. Got just the spirit working on. Working on them, working on them. So then they just like, man, forget it. I can't be, man, it ain't nothing. I tried it before. I ain't nothing about it. You had a spirit that you need to deal with, that you wouldn't deal with. Now you want to blame the saints. Now you want to say, ain't no power. Now you want to say, who can pray for me? Now you want to, what, you, what are you saying? Now you're going to take it to the gospel? Now you're going to put it on the back of the saints? Individuals. Let stuff go too far. Amen. That stuff starts to grow. And the devil pushes it to the point that they do something against divine life. They do my God, my force God. God himself. So now the devil is excited because he has to take some soul and battle them all the way through the hospital bed, all the way when they draw on their lap. The devil's still working on me because sometimes you come to your conscience, I might not live. Call the preacher, I want to be saved. The devil's got to work with you all the way to the end, all the way. Don't get saved, no, maybe you'll get better. Maybe the devil want an individual had AIDS, full blown AIDS. Full church got child, full blown AIDS. Brother was doing it. Every brother. And he said, Don't you want to be saved? Please, don't you want to. Say something to the fact that uh, I may want to smoke again. Here you are, hours from eternity. That lets you know, saints, if God deal with your heart, you make a move to get saved. You think I'm going to get saved when I get ready? You guys want to have a spirit so strong that you can't deal with when you try to get right. You don't play with spirits. You think in your mind, you think logically, in the moments, I'm going to be standing before God. That spirit don't care. That's right. That spirit gonna hold on for dear life. Call every one of his friends. Hold him. Hold him right through it. Only a few hours ago. Come on, let's hold him. Hold him, y'all. So here, this individual. He couldn't break free. One individual got hold of the lesbian spirit. Brothers, was dealing with us. And they kept praying. And they couldn't get nowhere. Kept praying to get that thing out. Couldn't get nowhere. Kept praying. Deal with it. Deal with it. And then they uh, uh, said, expose it, Lord. Something to the effect that they pray, she began to hug herself. I can't let it go. I can't let it go. I can't let it go. No, I can't. And they said, we can't deliver you from something that you don't want to get rid of. If not, if you 
come to Jesus, that's why he said, uh, hold, I say unto the door, knock, 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 the door, knock. But if you come, you come in, the Bible says, come unto me, all you, you come. I deal with every one of those spirits. Amen. You come for real. Amen. When you come broken and caught, I don't want it. I wouldn't be saying, come on up here. I deal with every one. God to deliver you. God to cast out. God to rebuke, bind, and deliver. Amen. But the enemy wants you to come and get the tune with the spirit that you don't want to get rid of. Amen. That's why some stuff, you don't see a whole bunch of deliverance from it. That's right, brother. You're going to go there? You, you, you're imbibing that spirit? You want to welcome that spirit into you and love it? Then and there's nothing natural in you that desires that. Mustache to mustache. Yeah. No, ain't nothing in you that desires that. Come on, come on. There's nothing in you that desires that that's not natural. The Bible talks about natural affections. Yes, yes. You can't let the world clog our mind to think humanistically. Okay? But God is able, if you want to be right, and say, Lord, I hold on. Hold on, God wouldn't be fair. To make you that way. God will be fair. And then to condemn you for it. I'm like, hold on, that, that's not fair. Now somebody may have some half on their child that said the other, and we have to deal with that spirit. God didn't make that. Saints, read verse number two one more time. Belshazzar. Belshazzar. While he tasted the wine, while he tasted the wine, the man to bring the gold and silver vessels which his father, Nebuchadnezzar, uh -huh. had taken out of the temple. Come on. Within Jerusalem. Come on. That the king and his princess, his wife and his concubine, might drink therein. Let's get down to verse number 25. Let's read the interpretation. And this is the writing that was written. I'm sorry. Let's just go back. Go back to verse 17. Give us a moment. Come on. Then Daniel answered and said before the king, Let thy gifts be to thyself. He said, I'm going to give you gifts. I'm going to dance. I don't want to do gifts. I don't want nothing to do with that. Come on, read. And give thy rewards to another. Give thy rewards to another. Come on. Yes, I will read the writing unto the king My Lord. and make known to him the interpretation. A real man of God. I'm not preaching for no altar. I'm making no offering. Mm -hmm. I don't mind preaching for your applause. <laughs> that no, we want to declare what God said. Amen. Come on, read. O thou king. O thou king. The most high God. Yes. Gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father a king. Mm -hmm. And majesty and glory and honor. Come on. And for the majesty that he gave them, all people, nations, and languages trembled and feared before him. My, my. Whom he would slew. Whom he would, he slew. Mm -hmm. And whom he would, he kept alive. He had that much power. Read. And whom he would, he set up. And whom he would, he put down. My, my. Read. But when his heart was lifted up. Wow. And his mind hardened in pride. Listen, when God started using, don't let your heart be lifted up. God begin to bless, God begin to bless your life. Don't let your heart be lifted up. Come on. He said, hold on. When that, you see that all the When that was little, when that own size. There's something intoxicating about power. You be a, just a normal person. You just say, you gotta get in position. Whoa. It, it, it's something that Paul said. My Lord. Click my Pause, I'm going to do whatever I want. No, no, why? Because I understand. Being used in a certain way, having a position, this, that, and the other, there's something intoxicating about it. Authority? You, he said, I'll put you up, I'll put you down. Well, can, you can't handle that. Well, you think you so? I'll put you up, <coughs> and I'll put you down. No? Come on, read. He was deposed from his kingly throne. Come on. And they took his glory from him. My, my. And he was driven from the sons of men. And his heart was made like the beast. So sad. This is my glory taken from him because of pride. Read. And his dwelling was with the wild asses. Read. They fed him with grass like oxen. Read. And his body was wet with dew my mind. of heaven. My mind. Till, the, till he knew that the Most High God ruled in the kingdom of men. My Lord. And that he appointed over it whomsoever he will. Read. And thou, son, O Belshazzar, Come on. has not humbled thy heart. Though thou knew mm. all oh, this. Lord. Oh, my God. You knew. You knew it. You my saw it. God. You seen it. And you don't follow the same. Yeah. See, that, 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 that. I'm going to tell you, saints, you're dealing with something when you're talking about you knew better. You had examples before you. You seen it. Come on and read. Time said, come on. But has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. And they have bought the vessels of this house before thee. 
and thou and thy lords, thy wives and thy concubines, have drunk wine in them. Mm. And thou hast praised the gods of silver. He identified everything you do against God. God take note. Go ahead. You knew better. Then you're going to call my vessels. You see how he articulating everything that he, Then you're going to praise the God of God. Okay, I'm writing all this. Be sure your sins will find you out. Be not deceived. God is not mine. For whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. Come on and read. Thou hast prayed the gods of silver and gold, of brass, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, my Lord, and whose are all thy ways, and thou thy glorified. My Lord, read. Then was a part of the hand sent from him, and his writing was written. Read. And this is the writing, my Lord, that was written, my Lord. Many, many, Tico Ufarsi, my mind. This is the interpretation of the thing. Many, many, God has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Tico, thou has weighed, thou art weighed in the balance. Thou art weighed in the balance. And I found one. And found one. My Lord. Thy kingdom is divided. What I have for you. And given to the man of the earth. Read, read. Then commanded Belshazzar. And they clothed Daniel with scarlet, and put a chain of gold upon his neck, my lord, and made a proclamation concerning him, mm -hmm. that he should be the third ruler of the kingdom. My lord. In that night was Belshazzar king, was Belshazzar king of the Chaldeans slain. My lord. That night. Verse number 15, I mean 26 he said, uh, I'm sorry, 27, he said, Tico, thou art weighed in the balances. God judged what you knew, what your motive was, what you intended to do from it, and said, Thou art weighed in the balance. If I don't want to, I'm going to judge right to you, judge. I'm not going to judge based upon what somebody else said. When God writes on your wall. He judges. Yeah, this is a scary sir. What did you say? No, no, maybe it is. No, no, this is, this is somebody that knew that. I know what I'm doing. I've allowed something to drive me. I'm clear on what I'm doing. I know exactly. I'm not talking. I didn't know. I didn't. That's when God will weigh the situation for me to make sure. My God, help us. Help us, then. Help us. salvation. I'm going to get that in the last moments. I'm talking about the devil is trying to push me. The devil is trying to get something down in my heart. The devil is trying to do something to me. The devil is trying to the devil is trying to make me go somewhere I shouldn't go. The devil is trying to it's people that hate their spouses. Some have it. They end up honestly I hate their guts. You ain't got to go that far, brother. Oh, you ain't got to go that far, brother. It's people that hate their parents. Yes. I hate their cuts. I just, I think I get a knife, I get my pillow. I got a pillow with their name on it. And the whole night is going around. You serious? Are you serious? The devil's trying to push some people. Oh, my. To go beyond the world. And our word tonight, for whatever reason, the Holy Ghost. Yes, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. To declare it clear. Don't allow the enemy to cause God to write on the wall. My God. When God writes on the wall. 
What? You trying to make me a hypocrite? I ain't got no reason to hypocrite. Hypocrite for what? If I want to be saved, then no reason. We've been trusting God for people. They didn't want you to hypocrite. No. Tonight, if somebody wants to be saved, if somebody wants to be delivered, if somebody is going through something and they want Jesus to come into their hearts, and they want Jesus, he said, Come unto me, all ye that labor, trying to work something out, trying to get out of some situation, trying to deal with something. You're trying, and I'm trying, and I'm trying, it's not working, and the door is closing, and it just don't work. I just, I just don't like life. It's just, why is it I the hard or try? The difficult, more difficult it gets. I need some help. That's the powerful Messiah that we know. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden with issues, with burden, with guilt, with sin, with trouble, mind battles, mental issues, yeah. mind physical issues, all these things, financial issues. Oh, I'm so heavy laden. Jesus said, come unto me. Those are the ones I want. I don't want the people that got it going on, no problems, everything is great. But the ones that is being overwhelmed, the ones that feel that no one understands me, nobody loves me, nobody cares about me, nobody's concerned about me. I've tried this, I've tried this. Tonight he said, try Jesus. Tonight he said, you come to me. I want the tough cases. I want the situations that nobody can help you through. I want the situations. We tried this. It didn't work. You tried that. It didn't work. You tried this. It didn't work. Those are the ones that Jesus said, you come. You come. I want to pray for you. I want to bless you. Those that want to be saved. Those that need special help. This is not a coincidence tonight. God sent you here. Yeah. Yeah. You come on up. We want to pray with you. We want to pray with you. We want to help you through what you're uh, dealing with. What you're doing, we're not talking about church doing it. We're talking about getting right with God, bringing all of your issues and laying them at the feet of God. God is saying tonight, if there's one, you can come on up, we'll pray with you. God will be here for you. And you'll leave with that low light. My God. My, my, my. Having a peace that you never knew existed. My God. My, my, my. Where sorrow was, he'll replace it with joy. Where trouble was, he'll replace it with peace. Whatever you need, God is here for you tonight. He sent you here. He is a way maker. He is the great deliverer. He is the God of mercy. He is the God of second chances. He is the God that'll be there for you every step of the way. No matter what you've done, no matter what you're coming to God with, no matter what issues you've got, God is able. God is able. We are here tonight because the waters have been troubled. The God that opened the Red Sea, the God that opened up the Jordan River, the God that my God shut the mouths of the lion, the God that my God quenched the fiery furnace, the God, my God, that brought my God, the children of Israel through when they were facing the Philistine. That God is here tonight. I don't care what giants you got. I don't care what lions you dealing with. I don't care what bears you dealing with. God is here tonight. If you can get the courage to bring all of your issues to God, if you can get the courage to have faith just to believe that He is the way, the truth, and the life, tonight can be your night. Tonight can be your night. Is there one more? Is there one more tonight? The power of God is here. The power of God is here to work on your behalf. It's not a coincidence that you're here tonight. God ordained for you to be here. God created. He changed the whole message. He changed the whole evening just for you, friend. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He saw it tonight when he was in heaven with his only son who was there from the beginning. The Bible said in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. They were together from the beginning. He's seen that the blood of bulls and goats couldn't offer redemption. So he sent his son to die on that wicked cross for tonight and nights like tonight that no matter what you got, 
No matter what you're dealing with, no matter what issues you're facing, God is here tonight. God is here tonight. God is here tonight. Is there anybody else tonight? Anybody else tonight? You need help in any area of your say. Push you around, try to confuse you, try to get you discouraged, you try to keep crying tonight. Let's get that renewal. The Bible said, Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. I want my salvation to be joyful again. I want to be excited about the things of God. Is anybody else tonight that need prayer, that needs help? Tonight is your night. One more, all to Jesus, all to Jesus. I humble myself tonight. I humble myself tonight. You just come forth. We're here tonight. We will labor with you. You don't have to leave like you are. You don't have to leave whatever issues you come with tonight. God is able to sufficiently and totally. When you deal, when God deals with something, you don't gotta deal with it no more. God deals with it. When God deals with it, when God delivers, when God breaks that thing, when God deals, when God do it, all you got to do is cut his head off. Amen. God took that stone when David slung my God. God took the stone and forced it into Goliath's head. He failed. God is saying, you just, my God, he told him, hey, man, when you're going to raise up, he said, y'all just worry about the stone. Last time, he dead. He's stinking. I don't care what your issue is. I don't care what your issue is. Uh, I don't care what your issue is. If you just worry about the stone, what was that? The stone was that which was in the way. Whatever is there, if it's unbelief, you worry about unbelief, I will deal with your issue. If it's my God of forgiveness, if it's in humility, whatever that stone is, just deal with the stone. Just deal with the stone. I'll deal with everything else. You just deal with the stone. Just deal with the stone tonight. Whatever is hindering you from you being 100%, I'm on fire for God, 100%. Victorious in your experience, in your life, with joy and power and authority and anointing, whatever is there, whatever is there, he said, you just worry about the stone, I'll take care of everything else. If there's anybody else tonight, the mercy of God is present. The mercy of God is present, Savior. The mercy of God is here. Whatever you need help with tonight, you can have it. You can receive it. Get your blessing. Get your blessing tonight. Lord, it's the way I used to know you. Lord, it's, it, it, it's the way, it's the power I have. I used to have, Lord. My God, I want it back. I want it back. I want it back. I want it back. I want it tonight. Anybody else tonight? The power of God is present. You need healing in your body tonight. May your faith be inspired. The power of God is present tonight. The power of God is present tonight. May the Holy Ghost have his way. May the devil be bound up in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, my God, under the subjection of the power of the blood of Jesus tonight. Have your divine way. We rebuke you, divine spirits. We bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. We bind you, spirits. We bind you, devil, in the name of Jesus. Bind you, Satan. Loose, child. Loose, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Inspire faith, Lord. Reclaim, Lord. Renew, Lord. Free tonight, Lord. Resurrect tonight. He said, I am the resurrection and life. Though you were dead, he shall live. Have your way tonight, Lord. We believe God tonight. My God, a miracle of mercy tonight. A miracle of mercy tonight, Lord. Bind despair. We bind unbelief, Lord. My God, we let go and let God. We let go and let God tonight. Let go all the way. We come all the way, Lord. Let it all go. We just gonna trust God. 
Yeah. We don't understand it all. We don't know how it's going to work out. We trust God tonight. We throw ourselves on the altar of God. We throw ourselves at the feet of Jesus. We just lay out prostrate. My God, he told me, my God. Amen. Come to the potter's house. My God, although the vessel is all broken up, just come to the potter's house tonight. Just come, my God. I'll breathe on the floor. I'll put it together. I'll be there. Just come to the potter's house, my God. Have your divine way, Lord. Have your divine way. This is what you died for. Amen. Samson messed up. Samson messed up. He said, lead me to the pillars one more time. Lead me to the pillars one more time. My God, I may not get my eyesight back. I may not get my position back. But lead me to the pillars one more time. God have mercy, my God. God have mercy, my God. God Father, oh, we believe God tonight. We believe you ordained tonight. We believe you created the scenario. You created the atmosphere. Father Bible said, my God, the angel poured his violence in the air. Lord, you created the atmosphere. The angel came down and troubled the water. The water is troubled tonight. Father, amen. You're here to heal spiritually and physically and mentally. Father, whatever it is, Lord, we trust God tonight. For the fullness of redemption, my God. The fullness of forgiveness, Lord. The fullness, dear God, of regeneration, Lord. Father, they received him, they gave him power. Father, in the name of Jesus, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. Oh, Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord, with the mighty power of God is here tonight. Oh, when Jesus passed by. Amen. If I can but touch the hem of his garment. Amen. We thank you for passing by tonight. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, mighty to save, mighty to Oh, we thank you, God. Thank you, dear God. Father, you went out after the 99. Oh, he said he'll go after the one lost sheep. Until he find me. My God, where I gotta go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know who none of us would We just want to be saved, Oh, you ain't got to do nothing else for it, Lord. You ain't got to give me this. You ain't got to give me that, Lord. I just want to be saved. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God. If I could just come to the house of God, my conscience is clear. Oh, if I could just feel the presence of God down in my soul one more time. Oh, if I could feel the approval of God one more time.